we're going to move very fast. I'm going to take you back to the Kemet land. We have a word. We have this word. Merhet. Merhet in a <coughs> medumai. What is the merhet? The merhet is a machine that we use to count time. But how do we do that? Because just like how we were explaining the notion of rhythms in the first part of the time, we have a problem with that. Because really, the celestial bodies only gives us rhythm. We said that. Okay. But there's a problem with the celestial bodies too. The fact that we don't necessarily see them every time. You see? Clouds, dust, and things like this. So, we have to come up with a way to try to pinpoint positions of these celestial bodies in the sky. You see? It's very interesting. Now, I don't know how to put you this, but that might come as a shocker. Did you notice that the watches you have, or what about the clocks and like this, they have arms? Okay. Okay. But before we head to that, you have to understand the position of the Earth in space. In, if this is the Earth, Down here, that's the North Pole. And up here, this is the South Pole. So, and our name for the North Pole is Mecht. 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 And mecht for us means the drown part. Drown. And then we have here what we call the <coughs> the rest or result, which is the South Pole. Because this part is drowned, and this part has what? Land on it. So uh, remember the, uh, the idea that normally uh, you can't put water above the land. But if this pole is drowned, it's because for this is the earth, you see? So if this is the south part is the earth, so which means really the universe is in the south. I mean the, the source the, of the universe is in the south. So everything we do, that's why uh, like uh, the if you're facing south, uh, we call the name we have for the, the east is uh, Yabtet, or almost like the same word for the left. You see? And then we have the, the, the imitates here, the west, the right, the right or the west, you know, the west or the right. So which means even the positioning on this planet 
is dictated by the whole universe. A human being faces a sap when he is looking for his origin. A human being faces self. If gods exist, they must be in the south. Because even the planet faces self. Does that make sense? If the world of the gods exists, it's on the south. That's how, I mean, here I'm saying if, but for us it's a known fact. Because, <clears throat> By observing that, well, the physical uh, appearance of the earth shows it. One pole is drowned, and one pole is up. Remember, if this is the equator, the poles are really hard to be inhabited. We don't inhabit the poles. Why? Because it's too cold. It's so too cold. Nights that take six months. I mean, which kind of person want to live there unless they have no choice? Because if I have a choice, even we here, uh, me, Chicago is too cold for me. I don't know about you. If we had a choice, if there's no things that keeps us here, we all will be where you don't need to be wearing, you know, uh, so much clothes on yourself. So, again, now you notice that people of color, where do they inhabit? And the equatorial areas where it is warm because White man is simply a newcomer. That's why he had to deal with living in the places where, you know, you know, I mean, we don't, we don't want to live there. We just don't want to live there unless we have to. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's come down to the astronomy factor. So the Merhet, that's the name for the clock. You see? And uh, keep in mind that uh, up to now, uh, there is no European nation that has a name for a clock. In the French, it's montre, which means what you look at. In English, it's a clock or a watch. Hey. Watch what you look at, or a clock, because it makes a sound clock, 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 clock. <laughs> and you can go everywhere, all this. It's because even that instrument is not part of the culture, you know. Because when it came, they discovered it first. Yes, they will make lines to go watch it. Wow, this is what you watch. Mm -hmm. Let's call it watch. In some place they call it a uh, uh, reveil, like what wakes you up. Because there's no name for it. So, the Merhet is uh, uh, the name for the clock, or the watch, or what you watch. Okay, now there's a problem. We remember this up to now, before the Earth Center gets involved in the picture, there was a notion that there was, oh, black people, they don't even know how to write. They do, so they don't know astronomy, they don't know all this. Hmm. We have gods of ours. We have gods of the days, gods of ours. Gods of the months, we have all that. We even have names of ours. What I mean, if I want to talk about this moment now, we have a name for it. Now tell me we don't know astronomy. 